In this video, we're going to discuss like terms. Okay, and like terms, just to give you a definition. Okay, a definition are terms that have similar variable arrangements. Okay, so they're going to be things that have similar terms. Okay, similar variables in them. So for instance, okay, x and x squared are not like terms. Okay, x and x squared are two different types of terms. One is an exponent, one doesn't. They are not like terms. However, 3y squared and 6y squared are like terms. And you can see they both have y squared in them, so they are alike. Now what does that mean? Okay, like terms really only matters with addition and subtraction. When you're multiplying things or dividing them, the, the terms that they have don't particularly matter. Okay, but when you're adding and subtracting, you have to have the same terms to add or subtract something. So let's look at two examples. Okay, over here we have 5x squared plus 6xy minus 3y squared plus 2x squared minus 3xy plus 7y squared, right, two trinomials. Okay? If you're going to add those things, you can only add the things with the similar terms. Okay? So, 5x squared and 2x squared are like terms. I can add those things. So I get 7x squared. Okay? 6xy and negative 3xy are also like terms. Right? They have xy in there as their variables. So you can also add them. 6xy minus 3xy is 3xy. Finally, we have negative 3y squared and 7y squared. Okay, those are also like terms. We can add those, and we'll get 4y squared. Okay? These things cannot be added any further. See, as you can see, they're not like terms, so this is our answer. They have to be kept separated from each other. Okay? And that is mostly due to the mystery of what the variables are. Right? Variables are numbers that we just don't know yet. They're not solved for. So we have to keep them separated until we figure out what they are. Okay? Down here is another example. As you can see, these all look similar. right? We have 7a over b, 6a over b, and 3a over b. All those things are like terms because they have a similar arrangement of variables. They have an a over a b, so we can add those things. 7a over b plus 6ab is 13a over b minus 3a over b. That's 10a over b. So remember, like terms can only be added and subtracted if they have a similar arrangement of variables. Okay? As problems get more and more complex, it's going to become more and more important for you to make sure that you can arrange variables correctly, mostly using exponent rules. If you've forgotten how to do that, check out our exponent rules video.